If you don't know what jam session is, you're probably not a musician, but maybe you've heard about it. And we do it every rehearsal we have with our band. So the first part of it, we basically improvise. We just start playing and there is no agenda. And you can do jam session at anything you do, like recording a video, because I have no idea what I'm gonna talk about in this video, but I'm doing it just to practice letting go. Letting go of too much control, letting go of too much planning, judging and resisting. Will it go well or not? I have no idea. I only know that when I trust myself and when I'm not trying to prepare too much and to get crazy about the details and about the future, will someone like it or not? Will someone judge me or not? I am judging myself at that moment and I am resisting the pure fact of being present and enjoying the activity in itself. Yesterday I was in my hometown and my sister from France came and her three little monsters, uh, meaning kids, and they are so free in expression. They are jumping, screaming, crawling on the floor and there is not a fracture of judgment if I should do it, if I'm qualified, if if I have credentials to do it, there is a guitar and they don't think about can I actually play a guitar? What if I can't? They just take a guitar and play it in their own way, which it doesn't matter how they play, but they are trying. They are trusting themselves naturally and they are creative naturally. And I believe we all are. That's why in all my workshops and seminars in the last months, I'm telling people, I'm not here to teach you anything. I want to help you unlearn what is blocking you from natural expression, from natural flow, from creativity that is already the case. Only resistance is a problem. Only judgment is a problem. When you see that very clearly and it drops because you don't have to do a lot of work to, to let it go. When you see it clearly and it drops, there is that feeling of freedom, of being calm because you know everything is fine. I can just trust myself and I can flow. I can flow because that's my nature. I'm not an, a fixed identity, one object that is can be defined in one way and it's always fixed and certain I'm the stream of experiences the stream of experiences which has to be unlocked to be alive and if you are wondering why sometimes you feel like shit you are blocking probably you're blocking the natural flow of life in you how do I know that because I used to block a natural flow of life in me through making a lot of assumptions, through believing that I should be in a certain way, that I should have one profession, that I should be more of something, whatever, more talkative, more extroverted, more professional. And that felt like pressure. It didn't feel like me. And only in the moment when I trusted started trusting myself much more and listening to feelings in my body. Do I feel like doing it or not? Does it feel light or heavy? And then following that feeling that I have, only then happiness is already the case. You don't have to look for the answers anywhere outside, asking other people for advice. Trusting yourself is, is the highest form of advice that is always right and if it's not easy for you right now it's because you are used to blocking it and you think something is gonna happen some people are gonna be disappointed if you follow your feeling no actually they will admire you they will respect you more because deep down everybody wants to be real in the past I used to agree for things, even if I didn't feel like doing them. 
just because I didn't want to disappoint people. So I was a people pleaser. I was the nice guy. Okay, I'll, I'll go. Yeah, let's do it. And then I felt bad. I felt miserable. And now I say no freely. And I used to be afraid of reactions because I thought, okay, I say no, but I, I'm going to feel guilty. No. So a few days ago, I said no to one proposal. And the response were, was not like, oh, you disappointed me. The response was, got it? Thank you for being real. Everybody wants to be real because being real is freedom. And that's the happiness that you don't even have to create anything more. You don't have to add anything. You just have to remove what holds you back from experiencing it. You are already this, the stream of experiences. That was Mike from this beautiful park. There's hardly anyone in here. It's a pity because nature is high vibrational. And if you ever need more space and more freedom, go to nature. It's free. <laughs> Bye.